I'm Harold Catlin, and I was employed by All West Selectsires for 40 years. I started out in 4-H when I was nine years old with a couple banny chickens. And the following year, I had sheep and pigs and an Angus heifer. I had a couple of Guernsey heifers and, uh, and more Angus cattle and continued with hogs and sheep and joined FFA and did the same thing. Uh, showed cattle once I was 16. Uh, uh, would take Angus cattle, nine head to about 10 or 12 show county fairs uh, every summer. And I attended Yakima Valley College, returned to the farm and uh, was working there. Uh, we run about 150 head of registered Angus cattle. Had orchards. My dad did. I actually got started working uh, at All West by accident. I had relieved for the local technician a time or two when he had a funeral to attend to or a uh, time or two he was sick and they didn't get anybody there to relieve for him, but I'd only worked like a half a day or a day at a time. I'd never done any paperwork. And uh, I returned from the Pacific International one year and uh, he had just went to the hospital two days before and no one had bred cows for two days. So I jumped in my car and started breeding cows and uh, three days later he passed away. I called all the West office and talked to Jay Harris and the current manager and said uh, we're not real busy this time of year it was in October I said I can work for a month or two till you find somebody to take over the unit a year went by and I never heard from anybody and so I called and said I quit at that time the supervisor came over and said oh we don't want you to quit we want you to start breeding cows in Sunnyside then I met Archie. He came over for a district meeting. I think Archie hired me because of my handshake. Because uh, I he didn't really know if I was qualified for anything else. And Archie said, well, we'd like to have you uh, uh, do a sales route in Eastern Washington, Eastern Oregon. And so I did that for three years. I uh, became the beef director and did AI schools as well. People wanted to learn how to AI and so we had to have uh, numerous AI schools throughout the West. Put on about 10 or 12 AI schools in Washington, Oregon and California and uh, was beef director for five years. That was at a time when the exotic cattle were were becoming extremely popular and there was a lot of excitement uh, within the beef industry and uh, so sales just really soared so uh, it was uh, kind of a, uh, just being at the right place at the right time as far as increasing beef sales. He asked me to become the director of marketing which was actually a new position. Vic Gray had the assistant manager, was uh, kind of in charge of the sales and technicians, and, and uh, then I took over as director of marketing, did the advertising. We were fortunate to uh, have sales really increase at that time, and uh, we hired more people, and things really took off. I've always said that uh, I'd rather be number two in sales and be profitable than be number one in sales and not make money. And I think that's uh, pretty critical to, uh, to be able to keep the ship afloat and, uh, and, and be able to increase sales each year, but also be profitable as you go along and, and return the patronage back to you your customers and that's what made you uh, all west and select sires so unique is that the customers share in the profits i became assistant manager for one year and then archie retired and uh, 
and I was general manager for 17 years. When Tom Olson uh, was diagnosed with cancer and uh, his treatments didn't seem to be uh, working out real well, uh, he talked to Lloyd and decided that they would sell uh, Superior Sires. All West had the uh, first uh, right of refusal on, on purchasing Superior and so we started talking. We had a special uh, full board. Uh, all the directors come into Portland and met and uh, decided on uh, on a price. We went ahead and and, uh, and purchased Superior Sires and and that's been one of the greatest things that, that happened as well to have Superior Sires as part of uh, All West because they were actually selling semen for Select before we joined Select and we were only able to have technicians in California and they had all the semen sales and so to bring it all under one roof was uh, a lot smoother operation and it's been very profitable as well. When we purchased uh, Superior Sires, they were uh, doing business out of a uh, two-car garage in California and in Turlock and it was just a, a rental and uh, when I would go down there to work with the people, the two girls were in one side of the garage and the other side of the garage there was uh, semen and AI supplies and there are two desks there was no other room to put another desk in there and so I would sit on a milk stool and put my briefcase on my lap to write letters or do whatever I had to do and uh, so it was very inconvenient so I realized we had to get a bigger office and uh, so I started looking around and I knew we weren't going to be able to build a new one. We'd have to get an old one and probably remodel. After I found two or three places, I took several of the California directors to look at them. And, and uh, then we went to the executive board and told them what we had found. And they said, well, let's buy this building there in Turlock and remodel it. Two or three years later, we or maybe it was four, I don't know, we bought the adjoining lot uh, so that uh, we would have room for expansion because we knew that business in California was growing so fast that we were going to have to have a lot more room in California. That was uh, probably one of the things that I did that was walking on thin ice with the, the board. They were not uh, real interested in, in getting away from AI. They thought we were in the semen business, we were not in the feed business or animal health products business and so they actually voted twice not to to do anything. I finally uh, started selling Pace Plus because I knew that product was already being used by some of the largest beef herds in Washington and Oregon and Idaho. And so I knew if we took that over and I had talked to the manufacturer and they were very interested in us selling a product that that sales would, would come. So I went ahead and and start selling it and uh, once the board seen that we were making a profit they thought that was fine. When the feed uh, business come along they definitely wasn't interested but I kept dabbling in it and started selling a little and 
And then I realized that it wasn't working and I had to hire somebody that knew more about the feed business than any of us because all we knew about was AI. We hired Don Lamb and, and uh, sales took off and the board accepted it, I guess. But uh, that's something I probably really didn't get full permission to do, but we got in the business anyway. I enjoyed them all. I think to have just one position to be a favorite is, uh, would be difficult to, to say because uh, you, when you're a technician, you're, you're working directly with the dairyman as well as if you're a salesman, you're, you're working with the people, the customers. Uh, when I got to be director of marketing, I guess uh, I actually was working with the employees and uh, we were blessed to have really good employees and, and that was fun to be able to hire good people and work with them. I always look for somebody that, that grew up on the farm or was in 4-H or FFA because they had that knowledge and that desire to work or on a dairy or on a bee farm but normally if they were there they were in 4-H or FFA but I think just people that that are willing to learn and and want to learn that's the key and and just to be able to to uh, to want to be on a and want to be a team member not necessarily be the team leader but be a team player and and as you progress over the years and you can be that team leader but you got to be a team player to be the team leader. Bill and I was going to a, uh, an executive board meeting in Reno, Nevada, and I was riding with Bill from Turlock. I just happened, uh, he was telling me about the dairy and, and uh, all the headaches that go with it, and I just said, well, what you ought to do is go to work for All West. And, uh, uh, let your boys work on the dairy and and he kind of laughed and said oh, I don't think that's a possibility Then about eight or nine months later he said to me one day he said hey you know that day that you mentioned to me uh, I could work for all West you were kidding weren't you and I said no I was plumb serious and he said well I think maybe I'm interested he said let's visit a little bit so Anyway, what we did then has worked out an agreement where he just worked part-time to begin with. And uh, so that's how Bill come on board. And I was thrilled to have him because I knew Bill uh, was highly respected in the dairy industry in the state of California. And he worked good with people and he knew the, the AI business and it was very informed in the registered dairy business and and uh, so that's been a, a really good uh, uh, marriage to have Bill on board with All West. When I come home and told Bill about this Jim I said boy he's a great guy and I said he'd be a nice addition to our art, art group in California and, and then, I don't know, a couple weeks later, Bill said, well, what, did you ever talk to Jim anymore? And I said, no, I don't think he wants to move to California. And he said, well, did you ask him? I said, well, no. And he said, well, you better call and ask him. He won't know if you don't ask. I called and Jim said, yeah, he'd be interested. He said, matter of fact, I'm coming out to California to interview for a job. And I said, well, that's perfect. He came out and had dinner with us and uh, we told Jim that uh, we were better guys to work for than the other organization and we might not pay as much but uh, we had more fun. So he joined the ranks. Probably one of the greatest things I ever did was uh, get Bill and Jim hired. It's kind of like on a football team. It's not the coach that uh, wins the games, it's the players. And 
you get credit for things that you don't do. It's the employees that, that make those accomplishments. But uh, it was uh, great to uh, be involved with uh, a great company and work with the board of directors and the executive board, which I think All West, without a doubt, had the greatest executive board in the 30 years that I were involved with them. Uh, they were very conservative. Uh, uh, they had the best interests uh, of the company at heart and uh, made some great decisions over the years and that's what made All West is the success that they were. I'd say it's fabulous. It's a fun place to go to work. It'd be pretty hard to go anywhere else and, uh, and work in an organization that uh, that would be any more enjoyable. I think All West was blessed uh, over the years to uh, have good people and as I said before, a good board of directors. We've really been blessed with good people and, uh, and to be able to work with those kind of people and get along, it's pretty special. Listen to uh, the people that's been around for a while uh, but uh, don't be afraid to have new ideas and uh, show up to work on time and uh, do a day's work and uh, uh, enjoy what you do and you'll be happy forever after. Listen to the technician or the salesman that you're working with or uh, the people in the office if you make phone calls. Uh, those people have uh, experience and uh, knowledge to uh, help them uh, do a better job of breeding cattle. Well, it's hard for me to look 75 years down the road. But I would say they'll continue to be successful. Things have definitely changed. It's, uh, you know, even in the last 10 years, it's, uh, things are a lot different. Uh, the, the dairies are fewer, but they're bigger, and that presents new challenges. And uh, I think sex semen, of course, made a, a big change to what we had before. I mean, we thought uh, when we went from fresh, fresh semen to frozen semen was a big deal. But that was nothing compared to uh, having sex semen available. Now, uh, genomics, that's really changed things as well. And so uh, there's very exciting times ahead. And as long as All West continues to do what they did in the past and remain profitable, they'll do great. I enjoy life. I have coffee at 6 or 6.30 in the morning and in the wintertime feed a few Angus cows and in the summertime I pick raspberries and, and uh, we make a lot of trips over the mountains to see grandkids. And, I go on a cruise every once in a while and uh, life is good. And that is how the All West was won.